Hi there. <laughs> Can a beard grows here? How you doing? How you doing? Today, uh, we're talking about grub grenades. <laughs> uh, Fire in the hole. This isn't a grub grenade. This is a toy. This is plastic. Calm down. Relax. It's okay. Not gonna hurt anybody. But these grub grenades will hurt your pests in your garden. Anyway, let's get into those things. Let's see what that's all about. All right, so uh, I got this package in the mail. Like about a, took about a week to get here, um, which is a little longer than I expected. Uh, generally, uh, if it wasn't Christmas time, it would have been here much sooner than that, within a day or two. But I will say this, they did not put this in my mailbox due to the cold weather. I actually had to go and pick this up at the post office um, because of the fact that it, uh, it said that it was perishable and stuff in there. So that's good news. Um, so they pack it with um, some information and uh, obviously packaged here for insulation as well, which uh, I'm sure everybody appreciates. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get into this thing here without compromising the, the actual packaging just yet. We'll do that in due time. Yeah, they really, uh, this time of year, definitely uh, take a little extra due diligence. Look at that. Extra newspaper. And there we go. A little tiny grub grenade. Just a little one. I didn't, I didn't need a real super big one this time. Just a little pot shot. A little 500. Or, I'm just throwing this into a single tent. Uh, uh, a 4x8 tent with just a few. There's like five, uh, five or six plants in there. Six plants. Um, so this is going to be enough for that zone, I think. That should be all right. Okay, for a quick second here, I'd like to talk about the grub grenade and what it actually is good for. I'm going to put up a bunch of species here on the screen um, of things that it will help you control in an organic setting. Um, one of the really cool factors of these uh, things is they're not sitting in a warehouse somewhere. Uh, the company that ships them out ships them out directly and they ship them out live and they're guaranteed to be live when they ship them out. And as you've seen, uh, uh, the packaging was uh, more than adequate as far as that was concerned. Anyway, if you're having problems with any of these things right here, um, these might be, uh, this grub grenade might be the cure that you need. Anyway, let's get into the tent. Okay, so I guess we should open this thing up here first before we go anywhere. Cut it along the dotted line there. I was looking for some motion in there at first, and it's really hard to see any. I did see a little bit of motion, but I recall very deeply, uh, or deeply, I recall that last time I've used these things, they're deep inside the middle. They're hiding in the middle kind of thing. But once you open this up and start shaking them around in there, there should be some movement. Yeah, half this movement is my shaky arms. At any rate, um, I'm going to add a, a, a save a little tiny sprinkle um, for the bottom layer of my worm bin, um, just to be safe. Uh, not the top layer, because of the top layer, we are adding diatomaceous earth on top of the food that we're feeding. Um, to, that's to keep back uh, 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 gnat flies and other assorted bugs from actually attacking the food itself. Um, but in the bottom layers, I'm going to add a little bit of these guys just uh, just in case. Couldn't hurt. Anyway, now let's go into the tent here. Second second time's the winner. Okay, so here we are in my tent full of uh, exotic ferns, freak show ferns. Um, at any rate, all of these weird ferns, um, we're having a little bit of uh, a gnat fly issue. <laughs> um, now... These were all taken out of the pots and put into the center one because I was just doing a watering and checking all the soil. Um, I'm actually going to take all of these out. Might leave one or two in here, but for the most part, uh, I'm going to take most of these out. I don't want the, um, the 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 infestation has been minimalized heavily. It turns out it was all coming from my worm bin, and now that I've started using a proper DT. Uh, diatomaceous earth uh, top dressing on my worm bin as I'm feeding um, it has stopped the gnat fly infestation because in here it wasn't bad however I'm going to throw these this little grub grenade here into a few of these plants and a few of these living soil pot beds here just to be safe so uh, here we go now um, ideally I kind of want to put about a, a teaspoon or so in each of these pots if that's possible um, 
So let's uh, open it up and just kind of do a little eyeball sprinkling because I don't happen to have a teaspoon happen heavy or handy right now. So uh, yeah, here let's just give it a little sprinkling near the base somewhere. A little sprinkle, sprinkle like that. And then I'm gonna put some in this one back here. Same kind of deal, right near the base of the roots. Like that. And I'm definitely gonna sprinkle a bunch into this nest here. They'll be just fine in there. Again, remembering trying to save just a smidge for this final little bit. And again, let's just uh, move this tripod unit thing over here. And we've got uh, three more weird fern things here. And uh, a little sprinkle there, a little sprinkle there, and then a good little sprinkle back in here like that. And then just I'm gonna put a little tiny bit more into this big plant bed right there, just because why not? And then that leaves, yeah, there. Just a, a little tiny bit into that bottom edge there to, for me to add to my worm bin. So uh, now that we've got all those in there, you can see they're, I've stuck them in there nice and low against the roots and sort of in the somewhat shade so that they can kind of disperse after a watering so I'm not drowning them or anything. That should be good. Let's get into the worm bin. All right, so here's the worm bin. Um, here's, uh, here's the big difference. In the past, when I took this lid off, there'd be flies all coming out of here. Now when I take the lid off, I mean, I see one. I see one over here. Squish. <laughs> but there isn't like flies coming out at me anymore. They're almost eradicated. Um, I've got, like I said, a couple of layers to this and I don't want to add these to this layer because of the fact I'm putting, you can even see the DT in the bottom corner there, Diatinaceous Earth, as a fly runs right past it, the little prick. Anyway. <laughs> Down in this bottom layer here is some of this uh, this fern uh, defoliation. I could see worms all crawling around in there. They're eating it. Anyway, this is the layer here. I'm gonna add all these little these little mites to. There we go. And just like that, we're good to go. Now I just put this back up on here like this. This is the top bin. I do all my feeding. That bottom is just cocoa, and I threw a little bit of leaf in there. There's another bug. Yeah, see, there's still, there's still a couple floating around here. It's not the end of it, which is why I'm actually adding, like I said, why I'm adding some into there to make sure that it'll take care of any babies and stuff in, the, in those bottom layers here, in this bottom one. Hopefully that'll... Uh, That'll do the trick. Anyway, there we go. I have done both of my uh, both of my things I needed to do. I did my my big tent there, my worm bin, and uh, I think we're good to go. So uh, don't forget to like the video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, I'm gonna leave links below to these uh, grub grenades, so you can check them out yourself. Uh, right on. Thanks for hanging out. Cheers.